Hey everyone, Kevin Trudeau here. Maybe you're seeing me for the very first time. Maybe you don't know who I am. I've gotten a ton of emails and letters with questions from people about who are you? Who's Kevin Trudeau? Why should I listen to you? What, what are you all about? I don't even know who you are. And that's, that's fine. It's been 15 years actually since I've been pretty much every day on television and also on my radio show, The Kevin Trudeau Show, and traveling around the world speaking and teaching. So it's been a long time, so a lot of people really don't have any idea. So why should you listen to me and who the heck am I? Well, if you're looking to make money, if you're looking to manifest your goals, dreams, and desires, if you want to attain superior dynamic health, if you're interested in learning insider secrets from a former major insider in the secret societies and royal families and uh, the back rooms of all the major corporations and so forth, I can give you some insight. And if you're looking to achieve inner peace, joy, and happiness, some people call that enlightenment or self-realization, you might want to listen because I might have some things that that can help you. Not from information that I know about, but information that I actually know. How is that true? Well, I got a bunch of questions here, so I thought I'd answer the questions first. And I'm bringing back my radio show soon, this year. And I also have the ability for you to get all of your personal questions answered. If you have a question for me, we have a program now called the Kevin Trudeau Fan Club Partner Program. You can become a partner with me. And I can answer, you can send in your questions, and I answer every single one of your questions. That's personal one-on-one. -on -one. That's not going to last forever because I only have so much time in the day. So right now it's available, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So here's some of the questions. Kevin, is it true that you built a global business empire of over $25 billion? Well, I don't know the exact number, but in today's dollars, yeah, I think over the years it's done around $25 billion in sales uh, in the U.S., Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, all throughout Europe, the UK, uh, parts of the Middle East, um, parts of Africa, um, South America, Central America, pretty much all over the globe, in multiple businesses. And a lot of people don't know that, but there's many, many businesses that I had over the years. And collectively, before I ever made a speech, before I ever authored a course, before I ever, ever wrote a book, I was actually building businesses and really engaged in international commerce. So we did about $25 billion. Is it true that the Wall Street Journal called you America's marketing guru? That's correct. That was on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, front page of the London Times, front page of Sydney Times, front page on virtually every major newspaper in America and newspapers all around the world, including Moscow and the Netherlands, uh, England, London Times. And I was called the master of modern day marketing. I was called America's marketing guru and a marketing and business genius. I've also was called by these uh, people the infomercial king because I actually produced more winning TV infomercials than any person in history. And eight out of 10 of the infomercials that I actually produced were successful. Now, let me put that in perspective. In the direct marketing world, you produce 100 infomercials, hopefully to get one winner. I got eight out of 10. Nobody even comes close. Were you also called the modern-day Nostradamus because of your uncanny, accurate predictions that baffle the world's scientific community? <laughs> well, actually, yes. You know, even though I'm a business person, there's a spiritual uh, track that I really kept secret for many, many years, but I've been talking about over the last few years. And that's true uh, in terms of the ability to manipulate energy, see what's in the field of a person, uh, you can call it reading minds or psychic powers or whatever. And this is something that I was born with from birth, and I've always kept a secret. But those who clo were close to me always knew about that uncanny ability, and that's been talked about now a, a lot. Someone called you the world's most powerful psychic and spiritual energy healer. Well, I'm not sure if I'm the most powerful psychic. I don't, I don't even know if I'm a psychic. I'm really not a psychic. I have friends who, who are psychics. My good friend Gary Spivey is a world-famous psychic. I, I don't really call myself a psychic, but if you mean, do you have spiritual abilities that have been released, either from birth or through spiritual practices, and in my case, it's both, 
And do I do spiritual energy healing work? Yes. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with people and the response is virtually miraculous. I was just talking with a guy the other day on a one-on-one -on -one, and I saw instantly, as soon as I got on a call with him, the Zoom, what his issue was and I wrote it down. And I said, uh, tell me what your issue uh, you, that you want to talk about. And he talked about it. And I says, hold on a second. Let me tell you what I just wrote down. And I showed him what I wrote down. And he, and he was, his, his jaw hit the ground. His eyes got as big as soccer. So, so said, how did you do that? I said, I can see the energy in your field very clearly. I can see where the issue is. Let's get it corrected. And, and, in, and in many instances over the years when I've done that, within 24 to 40 hour, hours, things radically shift in a person's life. Things have been stuck for years whether it's making more money, health increases, better relationships or something, or just a sense of peace and security and no more questioning, you know, why, what's going on? I don't understand. All of a sudden this clarity comes, this certainty comes. So, um, yeah. Why are you called the millionaire maker? Well, I actually uh, have helped over 100 people personally, starting from zero. I mean, one guy was a UPS truck driver uh, another guy was in prison, came out of prison, and I've helped over 100 people like that become millionaires in just a few short years by cl cleaning up their energy and giving them some specific techniques on how to make money. Kevin, is it true that you're, o you're the only man to leave the ultra-secret society, the Brotherhood, and live to talk about it? Yes, actually, that's true. In my books, I do talk about uh, secret societies, Bohemian Grove, which I've been to, uh, Yale University, Skull and Bones, which I'm not a member because I didn't go to Yale, but I've been to the uh, Skull and Bones Island and uh, been involved in high-level uh, Bonesman meetings. Um, there's a group that's above the 33-degree level in Freemason, which most Freemasons don't even know about. When you reach the 33-degree level, you're tapped on the shoulder, a very small percentage, and inducted into that group, and I've been there. And then there's the Bilderberg group, which some people are familiar with, many aren't. It's an ultra-secret group. Uh, people like the Clintons, uh, the CEOs of every major national corporation, and the chairmans go there, all the media, uh, powerful politicians, members of royalties. And it's a big secret, but it's not, because there are f there's guys who f go outside of the hotels and film all these people coming in. It's bigger than the G8. It's There are more powerful people that control the world at these Bilderberg meetings than anything else, and it's never talked about in the media because the media moguls are there, and they want to keep it a secret because they don't want you to know who actually controls and how the actual uh, world works. But I was inducted into the Brotherhood, which is an ultra-secret society, where the members are um, recruited usually through families and DNA line or bloodline. Some are outside, like in my case, because of innate abilities that you have from birth. And then those are cultivated in the group and then used for the group's purpose. I don't want to say global domination, but uh, for what they believe to be is the betterment of mankind. So I'll talk more about that. <laughs> this is a funny question. Uh, is it true that you are the most interesting man in the world, Kevin. <laughs> I don't know about that. There was a commercial about that, the most interesting man in the world. Actually, somebody said that there. I was at a cigar lounge, and uh, the, the nanny came up, and he said, oh, I love the nanny. Fran Dressler is fantastic. I love her. And I goes, yeah, yeah, I actually know her. She invited me to her home in, in Malibu. I had a chance to meet her and go to her home. He goes, how did you go to her home? How'd you meet her? I goes, well, actually, met her when I was at Dan Aykroyd's house having dinner. How were you at Dan Aykroyd's house? I said, well, actually, I know his wife, Donna Dixon. I met her when I was at a, uh, at a place called the Ashram. The Ashram, do you meditate and do yoga? Yeah, I meditate and do yoga. And then something came up, and then a few minutes later, pool came up, and I said, oh, yeah, my... One of my best friends is Mike Siegel, the 10-time world champion pool player. He taught me how to play pool. I'm a pretty good pool player. And I started the International Pool Tour, which became the largest pool tour in the world. Gave away $10 million. It, uh, it didn't work. It actually lost $10 million on that one. Uh, but it was a good party, and a lot of people had a lot of fun. And he, and he said, pool? And I go, yeah. Uh, Jerry Orbach from Law & Order was a friend of mine. We shot pool together. Paul Servino from Goodfellas. You know, we shot pool. I got pictures of him. And guy from Top Gun uh, on, the, on the carrier was there, and uh, uh, Mike Siegel taught Tom Cruise how to shoot pool, and Paul Newman in the movie The Color of Money, which was really the Mike Siegel. And he says, Kevin, 
you're the most interesting man in the world. And I laughed and I said, I'm not too sure about that, but I appreciate that comment. Um, Kevin, you've been called in Time Magazine, uh, US News and World Reports, and Fortune Magazine, a life guru to the world's rich and famous. I've kept this very, I don't want to say secret, but yes, I've worked with many of the most powerful people and famous people and celebrities, royalty, presidents, prime ministers, generals on uh, energy and helping them achieve what they want in life. And so I don't know if I'm a life guru, but I have worked with many of those, those people. Kevin, a uh, couple things here, and I'm just going to just rattle these off and just confirm or deny. You're a number one New York Times bestselling author with over 100 million copies sold. Right, I have seven books. They've all been New York Times bestsellers. My biggest book was called Natural Cures. They don't want you to know about, which is this book here. This book was number one on the New York Times bestselling list for 26 weeks in a row, uh, which is, I don't know if it's a record, but it's 26 weeks in a row in hardcover, and it's a big, thick book. It was the number one selling book in all of America the year it came out. It sold more copies than Harry Potter and the Da Vinci Code. Uh, this sold over 50 million copies itself in hardcover only. So, it's, And this has been translated and sold all over the world. And I have other books as well. They've sold a total of estimated over 100 million copies. You're a sought-after in, inspirational and motivational teacher and speaker. I'm not in that business. Tony Robbins is a motivational speaker. Zig Ziglar, my good friend, I traveled with him, was a motivational speaker. Brian Tracy is a motivational speaker and teacher. Uh, the late Ed Foreman, one of my best friends, the late Charlie Tremendous Jones, one of my also closest uh, mentors and friends, they were motivational speakers. That's not my business. I actually ran companies, did over $25 billion in sales, but people have always asked me to speak. And so in one instance, I was invited to participate in the World Masters of Business program in Australia and New Zealand. And I was inducted into that organization. I said, could you please speak? And I said, well, that's not really my business. Please speak. I said, okay. And I spoke with President Gorbachev, who I became very close friends with over the years, uh, who's the past president and last prime minister of the Soviet Union. And also Dr. Uh, uh, excuse me, General Norman Schwarzkopf, the four-star general of the U.S. who handled the invasion into Iraq. There was also another fellow I met there, Kerry Packer, who was the richest man in Australia, who became close. Renee Rifkin, who was one of the top richest people in Australia. Al Dunlap, who was the top CEO, one of the top CEOs in America. They called him Chainsaw Al. He was a turnaround expert. He'd go into a company and top CEO, really sharp guy. And he was a great guy, and we really got close together as well. So I spoke on that program, and we had 50,000 people in the audience at a time when we spoke. And so, yes, I've done speaking around, most of it to close groups like my private club, the Global Information Network, or to my membership that I have, uh, but I have done some, but that's not my business. And when I get invited, because I get about 100 invitations a year, which I turn down, because it's not my business, uh, they offer me a crazy amount of money, usually anywhere from 100,000 to speak to a million dollars to speak. I shared the platform with Deepak Chopra, uh, many other major celebrities over the years. Uh, you've been called a marketing and business genius. Yeah, I talked about that. That was in, I think, the Wall Street Journal. You're a whistleblower who exposes corporate media and corporate corruption at the highest levels and a natural free speech and natural health freedoms advocate. That's true. One of the reasons why I've been attacked so much in the media, and there's been just a lot of misinformation about me, is because I've exposed the opioid crisis. I exposed how the U.S. Department of Education was trying to get uh, Ritalin and other uh, attention deficit disorder drugs in school to get all the kids on, on drugs. I exposed how they wanted to take phonics out of the school system and dumb down the kids. So uh, I exposed how uh, senators were doing insider trading and made it legal. They didn't have to get prosecuted. They, they could actually buy and sell stocks on insider information. And I exposed how a congressman would... Uh, go into Congress, and two years later, his net worth went up $3 million in just two years on what anybody else would be Ill illegal insider trading, but they made it legal, and how senators in their term would go up on average $10 million in net worth. So I, I didn't make a lot of friends in, in Washington, for sure. 
Uh, Kevin, it's been written that you're a spiritual master who has positively impacted tens of millions of people around the world. I'm not a spiritual master. I don't say that. Some people have called me that, and I, I appreciate that. But I have a master. I have a, a, a guru, you could say. And I'm really nothing special um, the, the way I look at it. I'm the same as you. Maybe I'm just more aware and conscious of who I am. And maybe some of my abilities have been released, but you have the same abilities as well. And yes, I've helped tens of millions of people release those abilities, for sure. Kevin, you've been on every major TV and radio talk show? I don't know of every major TV and radio talk show, but I've been on most um, in the U.S. and abroad. Uh, good Morning Australia, for example. In America, Good Morning America with Matt Lauer when he was the star. Katie Couric, I was on there. The Morning Show on CBS, ABC, uh, Fox News. I was on the O'Reilly Factor. Larry King, talked to him. I was on CNN with Paul Ozon. Um, most major talk shows I've been on. I've invited on, been invited on The View and on and on. Many of them I just turned down. On radio, Howard Stern. I was on the Howard Stern Show. Rush Limbaugh was one of the rare guests on the Rush Limbaugh Show. Uh, Man Cow in the Morning. The Danny Bonaducci Show. Uh, a, a lot of shows. Um, and doesn't have a radio show, but David Icke, or Icky, I-K-E, I-C-K-E, Icke, or Icky. Uh, we were in Arizona together. I got a picture on our fan club website of Man Cow, uh, the radio show host Man Cow, and, and David, and he was speaking, and we had a chance to meet and visit and things. So I've been on most major radio TV shows around the world, actually hundreds of them, as a guest, and I've also been featured in most every major newspaper and magazine around the world as well. Kevin, your critics call you everything from a snake oil salesman to a fraudster. That's correct. And they call me a lot worse. Um, there's a little saying. The only time you get flack is when you're over the target. But my critics call me everything from a snake oil salesman to a fraudster. Who are the critics? The government. The people that I'm exposing. The major media outlets, the government, and major corporations. The people I'm exposing, those are the people that criticize me. What about the hundreds of millions of people that have bought my books, went through my training seminars? What do they say? They love me. They continue to buy my products and books. And they continue to write me hundreds of thousands of testimonial letters about how the information that I've been putting together in the training courses that I've put together has positively impacted and changed their life forever. I was in court recently, and I told the judge that. I said, you know, Your Honor, the only people that criticize me are the people that I'm exposing, the government. I go, find one customer who has anything bad to say about a product that they bought from me, Your Honor. I goes, and isn't it interesting, after 20 years, the government hasn't produced not one person who said they bought something from me and they didn't like it. Think about that. Kevin, you've been put in prison for 10 years for contempt of court? Yes. And it, the question is, simply for writing a book that exposed corporate and government corruption in the pharmaceutical industry? Pretty much. Yeah, the government has a different story. But yes, I was put in prison for 10 long years. I was given a 10-year sentence for contempt of court. Not fraud, not tax evasion, but contempt of court, which, is that a crime? Contempt of court? You piss off the court? I, I, I don't know. I'm not a legal expert here. I'm not a lawyer. But most people say contempt of court is not a misdemeanor, not a felony, and not even anything. It's not even a crime. It's called something uh, surus juriitis. I'm not the, the, the Latin expert, but there's some legal term which means a thing of its own. And it's interesting. What I went to prison for is not a crime anywhere else in the world, only in the United States of America. <clears throat> Think about that. But yeah, I just got out actually a couple of years ago. One of the reasons why you haven't seen me in 15 years. Yeah, I wrote, a, I wrote books exposing corporate government corruption, and, and the government went crazy. You know, the people say, well, you know, the government only goes after people that do, you know, wrong things. Really? 
The government only goes after people that do wrong things, really. Listen to the Nixon tapes, President Nixon tape. When he wants to go after his political enemies, on the tapes he said, we need to quash these people. We need to crush these people. We need to um, shut these people up. What agency are we going to send after them? Not the DOJ, not the Department of Justice. Let's send another agency. And not the IRS, because we always use them. Let's use that agency, or that agency, or that agency, the Federal Trade Commission, or the Food and Drug Administration, or the Environmental Protection Agency, or the Securities and Exchange Commission. They, they'll just tell them to go after him and charge him with a crime. That's what the tapes say. This was in the 70s. Nothing's changed. It was before then. It was after then. It still goes on today. We call it the weaponizing of the government to go after, quote, enemies. There was a phrase made popular by the number one prosecutor under Joseph Stalin, the dictator of the Soviet Union. And the prosecutor said, show me the man and I will show you the crime. What this means is, just give me the name of any person and I will charge that person with a crime and convict them. Just show me the person, and I'll get him convicted of something. Ross Perot, who ran for the United States presidency, he's passed away now, was new Ross, he said, you could randomly take 100 people in America, just randomly, just pick them out of a phone book, and every one of them has committed a federal crime and can be charged by the federal government, and they will be convicted. 100%. Even Judge Gorsuch, who's on now in the Supreme Court, said not only are there hundreds of thousands of laws on the books, which almost everyone is breaking something, he said there are over a million regulations that have been set up by the agencies, which are crimes. He says it's impossible for somebody in the United States of America to live and not be breaking a law which could result in prison time. Think about this. So yeah, 10 years in court, uh, 10 years in, in prison for contempt of court. Um, mainstream media attacks you and the tech giants have been censoring you. Yeah, for decades because I'm exposing what they don't want you to know about and I'm exposing things from the secret societies on how to manifest goals, dreams, and desires, how to attain superhuman health Look, I'm very old, by the way. I mean, if you look at me, I don't know how old you think I am, but I'm very old. Very old. I've, I don't take pharmaceutical drugs. I don't have any illness or disease or high blood pressure. I go and got my ears checked the other day. She goes, what drugs are you on? What, what prescriptions are you taking? I don't take any prescriptions. What are you talking about? At your age, you're not taking any prescriptions? No. Well, what symptoms do you have? I don't have any symptoms. I don't, have, I don't have erectile dysfunction. I don't have sleep apnea. I don't have high blood pressure or diabetes. I don't have a bad back. I was doing some crazy exercise. I tore a meniscus in my knee. I ain't going to get it surgically scoped. I'll just use natural methods because I know and it'll heal up. So yeah, I've been, I've been censored for a long time. Next question. Kevin, you've been called the number one direct marketing expert in the world. Well, a lot of people don't know. Back in the 70s, I wrote direct mail pieces. I was, in, I was younger, and I was in the 70s. I was writing direct mail pieces for other companies. My direct mail pieces then would go out and be mailed to you. You'd, you'd open it up, and it would sell you a product. It would encourage you to buy a product. My direct mail pieces did tens of millions of dollars in sales. Back in the 70s, if you convert the money, it's hundreds of millions in sales just from my direct mail pieces, and I got royalties. So I made a lot of my money when I was very young in, in perpetual money because money just came in as royalties. There was a book put out. I don't even think it's available today anymore, but it was put out, I think, in the 90s, and it was called The 100 Most Successful Direct Mail Pieces of All Time. Twelve of them were mine. They didn't, the authors didn't even know it, but those are the ones I wrote because I wrote them under pen names. So, yeah, direct mail and... Direct marketing was my forte. I did full-page print ads, which broke sales records. I did classified ads in the National Enquirer and different, in different newspapers when that was popular back in the 70s and 80s. That was unbelievable. I did short-form commercials. Some of you are familiar with the Ginsu Knife ad and Armacode Cookware back in the way back. 
Arthur Schiff was the guy who put those together. I worked with him. So there was a whole host of short-form TV and radio commercials, full-page print ads and newspapers and magazines, direct mail. And then in 1984, when Reagan deregulated TV infomercials, I started doing long-form television infomercials, both behind the scenes and on camera. I was on camera, I think, more than anybody else in history. That. So yeah, people call me a, a direct mail expert, and I think I'm probably one of the top direct mail experts based on results uh, in the world. Um, you're the founder of over 100 global companies with sales totaling over $25 billion in today's dollars. That's true. You teach now how to attain happiness, inner bliss, peace, joy, fulfillment, certainty, knowingness, enlightenment, and self-realization. That's true. I have a course called the Science of Personal Mastery Course, which helps people achieve those things. And this is stuff that I don't know about. It's stuff that I actually know from personal experience, and this is what I live. This is the state that I'm anchored in. You teach how to make money, attain riches, become financially rich, and develop wealth. Yes, uh, Although I've made a huge amount of money, I gave it all away. A lot of people don't know that. You know, they, and the government always looks and says, where's your money? I go, well, look at my records. You know, the money that came in, I gave it to the staff members, employees. I gave it back to customers and uh, delivering more than they pro that I promised, more than they ordered. I made sure all my vendors were blessed as well in business. And I gave huge amounts to charities and a lot of it, I never even talked about because giving money away is something you don't promote. There was a, a big uh, Fortune 500 company. They gave $100,000 to a uh, women's shelter for battered women, domestic violence. That's fantastic. They gave $100,000 to the shelter, which basically supported women who were the victims of domestic violence, you know, battered women. Great. But then this company spent $25 million advertising how great they were for giving $100,000 to the battered women's shelter. Think about that. They didn't care about the battered women's shelter. They just used that as a, as a ploy, and they spent $25 million telling everybody how great they were. If they really cared about the, the domestic violent victim, women victims, they would have gave the $25 million to the shelter. And, that, and that's what I did over the years. I gave a lot of uh, things away. I used to get in my Rolls Royce and, and drive through the streets of Chicago and give out coats, hats, scarves, gloves to homeless people. And that was my thing. I never, and this is really the first time I've even mentioned about this in public. This is many years ago. And there are many, many other things I've done. Kevin, you teach secrets of direct marketing. I, I do now. I have a course called Infomercial Secrets Revealed. You teach how to be physically healthy with natural cures, as well as longevity and anti-aging secrets. Yes, I wrote the book, Natural Cures, that I want you to know about, and others. You teach how to manifest your dreams and desires, how to create the life you've always uh, wanted, and how to be, do, and have anything you desire with the law of attraction. Yeah, people call me a law of attraction expert. Look, I know most of the people in the industry that teach on how to manifest goals, dreams, and desires, how to make money how to use the law of attraction, and many, a lot of the stuff is good, a lot of it's garbage. Most of it, almost all of it, is coming from a point of knowing about the material, but not knowing the material. In other words, all these guys have the same modus operandi. They've read a bunch of books, they've gone to a bunch of seminars, and now they're just regurgitating the information. The difference is, with me, I learned this from the Brotherhood, secrets that you can't find in any book on the law of attraction or how to manifest. You just can't find it anywhere. And I've had people that have gone and, and, listened, and, and read all this stuff, went to all these other guys. They come into me for one hour and I say this, 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 and they go, I've never read that in any book anywhere. They go, yeah, because those people don't know. They just know about this stuff. About, they just know about how to manifest, but they don't know how to manifest. It comes from a different place. Kevin, you help people uh, release untapped potential. Yes, and that's, yeah, I ain't got to say that. I got in this filing cabinet over here about 100,000 pieces of paper from people around the world that, if you re read them, and, and I've re read some of them, people just can't believe it. <clears throat> All right, due to your extraordinary ongoing spiritual development and the fact that you've exhibited mental and energetic powers, you've been called by people that know you well as a guru, 
enlightened, self-realized, a perfected spiritual master, a sage, a seer, a psychic, a channel, a clairvoyant, an energy healer, and a medium, in addition to being a marketing guy and a health expert. <laughs> yeah, that's true. People will call me, I just spit all over the camera. People, <laughs> people, people call me all these things, but you know, I actually wrote something, and I'm going to read what I wrote. And this is on the website, and it's also in my book, uh, Nuggets of Gold, the newest book. It's on Amazon, Nuggets of Gold, which are little clips, which are really nuggets of gold. And it's also on the ktfanclub.com website, ktfanclub.com. I wrote, I'm nothing special. I'm a humble servant and student of my spiritual master. I am what you know that I am. I am the same as you. I am on the path. The only real difference, perhaps, is my level of awareness and consciousness of what I am and who I am. But I'm still expanding and owe all to my master. You, too, can attain awareness and consciousness as well. And I also went on to state, God or source or consciousness, the universe or whatever term you want to use, dwells within everyone equally. God is in us as us. The same divine light and love that is within me dwells within everyone. I am aware of it. We are all an expression and extension of the one love, light, consciousness, and energy that is all things. So I hope that answers that, that question. All right, Kevin, you're the founder of the American Memory Institute, which became the largest memory training school in the world with over 5 million students worldwide and authored the book and home study course, Mega Memory. Yeah, Mega Memory was my first TV infomercial. We sold $450 million worth of memory training courses. Kevin, you founded True Star Global Media, which include the Golf Channel in the UK, Shop America, which is a TV home shopping channel in the UK, UTV, which is an inspirational TV channel in the UK. You hosted the Debbie and Kevin TV show, which is one of the top rated shows in America. Yes, 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 yes. That's true. all true all in the past. You hosted the Kevin Trudeau radio show with over 100 million listeners worldwide. Yes, I'm going to be bringing that show back. I'm going to love it. And you can go to YouTube. Uh, Kevin Trudeau Show. Kevin Trudeau Show on YouTube. And you can see some of the old ones. 479 episodes, three hours each. Entertaining, man. You're going to laugh. You're going to smile. You're going to be informed. You're going to learn stuff you've never heard on any other show. Even though it's a little bit old, it is as valid today as ever before. And people are tuning into it for the first time and going, this is blowing me away. This, this Kevin, this is the best podcast, the best radio show we've ever heard, ever when are you going to do it again? Well, it's going to come soon. I can tell you that. It's coming, coming soon. Uh, you're a martial artist? Question mark? Yes. I, ch I practice Chinese Kung Fu. I was trained by Grandmaster Tai, one of my close friends. When I was in prison for contempt of court, he used to come and visit me all the time. He just passed away recently. He was, I think, the only living ma Grandmaster they built a temple to, and it was the largest temple ever built to a Qi, uh, Qigong Grandmaster. Grandmaster Tai trained me so much on how to use chi and so forth. It was amazing. I was also trained by the Shaolin monk from the Shaolin Temple in China, Xi'an Ming. He came to live with me in Ojai, California when I, when I had my home there. I'm a yogi and meditator. I do uh, practice yoga and meditate. I've been doing that since the 70s. Uh, Kevin, is it true that you lived in a cave for seven months doing rare and powerful spiritual practices? Yes. I actually said this to the guy. This is when he called me the most interesting man in the world. Because something came up about meditation, and he talked about these gurus who were in the Himalayas. And I said, yeah, I was there. I said, I actually lived in a cave by myself for seven months. I guess it was scary. You know, I was afraid of bugs and snakes and tigers. And Yeah, there was a lot of rare and powerful spiritual practices. And I'll tell you what, it's hard to do. But you can really go through and attain a high level of uh, perception, awareness, and consciousness that you can't even describe. It's, it's ineffable. But because your light becomes so bright, when you touch other people, it lightens their fire within them as well. It's called the transference of energy. In the, in, in the East, they call it Shaktapat. It says here, you are a philanthropist who's given away much of your fortune? Yes, I just talked about that. Kevin, how many courses have you authored? Well, I've authored over 100 courses. 
the Science of Personal Mastery course, which is a written course that's available only to Global Information Network members. It's a, it's a private club. The Success Mastery course. Both of those courses, I teach and reveal everything from the Brotherhood. It's basically my 20 years of Brotherhood training, and I put it together for the first time somebody now who's outside of a secret society can learn what goes on at those secret societies and begin to release abilities within themselves. It's not just how to manifest goals, dreams, and desires, but how to virtually change the DNA vibration so your health is improved. Look, you, you look at very wealthy people or members of royal families. With rare exception, they live to be 100 years old. They have no health issues. Look at the Queen of England. Look at the, the current King of England. Think about this. Warren Buffett's 90-something years old, and he's not a health nut. He says he eats Oreo cookies all the time. But how is it this guy's so sharp and his partner, Charlie Munger, these guys are billionaires, how, and they're not in shape, they don't exercise, they're overweight, they eat crap, but they're so healthy. Think about this. It has to do with the DNA. And in the secret societies and the top levels, you know, learn how to take any aberration that's in the DNA and deactivate it so it doesn't turn into a problem and how to uh, activate the health part of the DNA so you can live longer with a real sharp mind. So I teach that in the Success Mastery course and the Science of Personal Mastery course. I also have the course called, you know, th this was made available to the public. Your wish is your command. How to manifest your desires. This, this is an old copy. And can you see this? This is an old copy. Look at this. It's in CDs. Your wish is your command. This came out almost 20 years ago. What happened was so many people were asking me to teach a high-level group of people on the techniques that aren't in any book on how to not just use the law of attraction, but how to manifest goals, dreams, and desires. And after I was hammered from wealthy friends of mine, including a king of an Asian country, a crown prince of a uh, uh, Middle Eastern country, they hammered me, please teach us. And they're in that level, but they knew that my skill in the Brotherhood was communication and teaching and also transference of energy. So they would benefit greatly from a course. So I broke down and I put together a course. I charged $10,000 for the uh, two days. This is 20 years ago. And one of my friends had to take his $30 million mansion chateau and give it to me for the weekend and so I could bring the people there. And we had, again, royalty, billionaires, successful people, and a lot of people that weren't, but they were up and coming, we'll call it, and they had potential. I recorded that. I went into the studio, cleaned it up, re-recorded some things in the studio, and then put it on CD and made it available. Originally, it was 1500 bucks. Then we uh, offered some discounts, I think $500. And over a million copies of that was sold. This teaches people how to manifest goals, dreams, and desires. And, and I, if you want this now, obviously nobody has a CD player anymore. <laughs> right? So if you want your wishes, your command, just go to ktfanclub.com. Go to ktfanclub.com and just get on our mailing list and we'll send you information on how you can get this now via a download. So that's available. I also put together a course called How Anyone Can Make Millions, The Money-Making Secrets They Don't Want You to Know About. I mentioned I put together a course called Infomercial Secrets Revealed. Look, I did that course on direct marketing, and I had guys in that course who went to Dan Kennedy seminars, uh, Bob Proctor seminars, t uh, Tony Robbins seminars on marketing, uh, Tommy Hopkins. Some of these people don't even recognize anymore because they're, they were older from the, another generation, 70s and 80s and 90s. And some of the gurus today, that by the, basically, I saw that a couple guys wrote some books, and I and and uh, I called the guy and I said, "Hey, I like your book." He goes, "It's all your material." He goes, "I can't believe I'm talking to you," and I go, "Well, I appreciate that, but I just wanted to congratulate you on your book. It was a great book. You did, did a good, good job." He goes, "Yeah, but it's all your stuff. I can't believe I'm talking to you. You're the guru. You're the guru." And I well, appreciate that. And that happened about five or six times. That was really, you know. I, I appreciate that. I've been, I've been out of, out of the, the world for a long time, so I really didn't know what was happening. But a lot of people were watching my TV infomercials on YouTube, listening to your wishes, your command, 
and and while I was away for the last 15 years, they were taking my material and they were becoming successful. And then they were teaching people, but they said, listen, we don't know this material. We just know about it. We just learned from you. So I put together Infomercial Secrets Revealed and I had people come to it and said, this stuff isn't in any course anywhere. I go, That's, yeah, absolutely true. Because nobody knows it. They think this makes logical sense. It's all sound good marketing material but it's not really what creates super wealth. I also put together the happiness course. I also formulated, it's right behind me here, I also formulated this. You can see this crazy, this is the, uh, it's two sides. That's the label. This is called the KT Daily. This is coming back as well, maybe this year. This is the greatest nutritional supplement of all time. It's the goat of Nutritional supplements. I can't make any health claims about it, which I don't. It's just, I believe, the best, most unique, revolutionary nutritional supplement of all time. It's unbelievable. And it's coming back. I'll give you more information on that. If you want to get on that list so you can be the first one to get it, go to ktfanclub.com. Sign up for the newsletter. It's free. And we'll make sure you get on that list as well. A couple more questions here. Were you the personal success coach to Hollywood celebrities, royalty kings, princesses, prime ministers, and presidents from around the world? You know, this internet, most of this, a lot of the stuff on the internet, I wouldn't say most, I'd say a lot of the stuff on the internet is just not true. I mean, let me give you an example of something that's not true. Guy just sent me a telegram on, on, on my phone, and he said, Kevin, I just read on the internet that you passed away in prison in 2021. Is that true? Uh, let me check. That's not true. He goes, are you sure? Honest to God, I'm, I'm not making this up. Okay. Okay. I didn't pass away. I'm still here. I didn't, I'm not dead. As the saying goes, the rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. So there's a lot of stuff on the internet about me that's just not true. I mean, just blatantly not true. Like, I, I didn't pass away in prison. There's a lot of stuff that's half true, but it makes you to believe something that's not true. So it's, it's misinformation. It's, we'll call it fake news. That's the new buzzword today, fake news. It's misrepresenting the truth. It's deceptive. So a lot of stuff on the internet is deceptive. But some of the stuff they get right, like, yeah, did, was I the personal success coach to Hollywood celebrities, royalty kings, et cetera? Yeah, I, I didn't talk about it, but it gets out there. Uh, Kevin, we hear you're a superior athlete. Is it true that at 60 years old, you won first prize in the men's burpee competition, beating men as young as 25? Uh, yes, that's true. I actually have. My burpee champion male right there. And I also won the, the ball slam competition. Now, let me tell you the story here. So they tell me, Kevin, get into this competition. I go, look, I, I'm, I'm an old man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm 60 years old. I, I'm not going to be able to beat these young kids. Yeah, but just do it anyways. We're going to time you, and then we'll just throw it in. It's fun. It's, uh, you know, gives you a comp competition. I said, all right, so we'll do some burpees. They said, um, there was, I think, 50 different competitions you can get in. Push-ups, chin-ups, that type of thing. They said, Kevin, why don't you get in on uh, the um, a burpee? I go, that's the hardest thing. I go, no, but that's, that's like the hardest thing to do, a burpee. Yeah, yeah, we're just we're going to time you and see how many you can do. All right. And you have, to, you have to do one and then do the next one within three seconds. If you are waiting, then it's over. So you just do as many as you can do, full burpees, make sure that, and I'm, we got the stopwatch. So I, I was doing these burpees, and, they're, and I'm just doing them, I'm doing them, I'm doing them. And they're going, you're at 375. I go, I'm bored, I'm done. Oh, by the way, I had just worked out for an hour and a half. We had just finished our hour and a half killer workout when he told me about the burpee competition. And I go, I'm tired. I just worked out for an hour and a half. At 375. 
The next closest person, by the way, was about 125, just to put it in perspective. They said that no one's going to enter the burpee competition going forward if you're still in it. Because we told everybody that you quit because you were bored. You weren't even tired. So, yeah, I won that. I also won the ball slam competition. Same, same thing. I did these ball slams after I did the burpees. I was exhausted. And I still beat everybody. Nobody was even close. And they said the same thing. We're not going to enter the ball slam competition. So, yeah, I'm in pretty good shape. I've been in better shape. Uh, do I have good stamina and endurance? Yes. Does natural cures work? Yeah, the natural cures that I know and talk about, it works. Let's see what else here. We talked about, yes, I already said the world masters of business with President Gorbachev and Schwarzkopf. I also was in a program called the Masters of Success with uh, Zig Ziglar. If you don't know who Zig Ziglar is, one of the greatest motivational speakers of all time. We traveled the world together. Charlie Tremendous Jones, one of my good, good friends, a tremendous motivational speaker. speaker. Ed Foreman, Mr. Terrific, one of my closest friends. He used to come visit me all the time in prison. Brian Tracy, a tremendous teacher. And we traveled around doing a program called the uh, Masters of Success. And, and there were audiences of 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 30,000, et cetera. And I was paid uh, incredible amounts of money to do that. I don't, again, I'm not a motivational speaker. They, they brought me in to do it. But the response was just so powerful and so positive, and they just begged me to continue to do it. Now, I've gotten rid of all the companies, all the businesses, and now the mission is really to positively impact you. All right. I got more questions here, but I'm not even going to answer all these other questions. So let me just tell you where we're at. Look, that's just a little bit about my background. And maybe... I resonate with you, maybe I don't resonate with you, but I'll tell you this. If you're interested in manifesting goals, dreams, and desires, if you want to make more money in life, if you want to attain things in life, if you have read books and find them interesting like Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill or Ask and It Is Given by Abraham uh, uh, Hicks, uh, Esther Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham, if you've ever went to a Tony Robbins seminar or a Bob Proctor seminar, the late Bob Proctor, he passed away recently, um, Joe Dispenza, uh, Joe Vitale, there's a lot of guys out there that teach law of attraction, how to manifest goals, dreams, and desires. I don't even know half of these guys anymore. <sighs> who do you listen to? You listen to somebody who has what you want or had what you want, attained what you want, and has been where you are. Most of these guys have never made any money in their life except selling books on how to make money. Think about that. If they really knew what they were talking about, they would have started a business like me or 100 companies like me, do about $25 billion in business, become an international global tycoon phenomena, and then say, okay, I obviously know something. I remember one time I went into a, a meeting in the Brotherhood, and I thought I was really hot stuff. You know, I happened to be in direct marketing back then and direct mail, and I was making millions. I'm a young guy. I go into this meeting, and the guy says... Uh, if you didn't make $5 million last year, sit down and shut up. And I it was doing well, but not that well. And the idea is, you go, look, you have to be teachable and coachable. You have to have a high willingness to learn and a high willingness to accept change. And you have to basically surrender to somebody who has what you want and has been where you are. Whether it's a spiritual guru or a financial guru or a health guru, you have to be coachable and teachable. I was, and I still am. So maybe you don't have everything in life you want, materially. Maybe you don't have the health you want. Maybe you can't do 375 burpees and just quit because you're bored. By the way, I was going to do the uh, um, sit-up competition. It was called leg raises. And the guy says, no, I'm not going to have you enter that because you would easily win that. I go... I didn't know I was going to easily win the other two. But they thought that I would crush because when I would do leg raises with them guys, these were the trainers, and I would, I would just continue to go. And because my core, I've been doing it since I was a young, young kid in the 70s, is very strong. So if you want more out of life, there's some things that I can probably tell you and teach you. So let me tell you what, what's exciting, what's happening. The Kevin Trudeau Radio Show is coming back on YouTube. Get on it. Tell everybody about it. We need to have a big number of people on the YouTube channel before I'm going to start. So it's up to you. I'll give you everything for free on the radio show. 
and I'll answer your questions, but it's up to you. But the best thing you can do to improve your life is to become a partner with me in the fan club. I was, <laughs> I was talking to somebody, and the Kevin Trudeau fan club came up, and he says, you have a fan club? <laughs> so I said, yeah, I didn't start it. I said, some fans did. I'm very grateful and thankful and appreciative and humbled by it. But yeah, I got a fan club. And because I want to give back to people that support me, I put together what's called the partner program. So you can become my partner. What you do is you go to ktfanclub.com. KT, the letters KT, fanclub.com. And you just click on partner. And you become a partner. A partner is somebody who is committing to sending in $25 per month. So the partner program costs $25 a month. And for $25 a month, what do you get? You get a heck of a lot more value than for $25 a month. The first thing you get is you get to then use a form online that are for partners only, and you can type to me any and every question you have. If you've got a question about Area 51, I've been there. I can give you the answer. If you have a question about anything, what's going on in your life, the struggles you're having, how to attract a mate, how to, how to make more money, how to deal with, uh, you know, you get, you, you get financial struggle, you get stress and anxiety, you get an addiction. Any question you want, I answer those questions. I read every single question. I answer them energetically. And then I'm going to be making a video answer of your question and putting it online so you can go and look. You won't, you're not going to be embarrassed because I'm not going to mention your name, but you can find it there. We'll send you an email and say, here's the link to your question being answered. It's about 25 bucks a month. This is not going to last forever. Because there's going to have so many partners, I, can't, I won't have enough, enough time to do it. But once you're in, you're in. So that's the first thing you get. The second thing you get is every month you get a link to a Zoom. It's a live Zoom, usually on the third or Saturday or fourth Saturday of each month at 1 o'clock, Chicago time. I do a live, live Zoom call. It's about two hours. And I take the best, not the best, but the most common questions that have come in, and I answer them live. Plus, I talk about a lot of other stuff. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's insightful. People take notes. And then you can go to the website, the partner area of the website, and you can have access to all of the previous partner calls. And we're going to be codified, codifying this year all the questions and all the answers so you can search and find any question and answer. This is going to be life-changing stuff. This is like sitting down with me over lunch, and basically just pick my brain. What is that value? What is that worth? What, what, what would it, I, you can't put a price tag on it. And I know this because the letters that come in from people are saying, this is unbelievable. For 25 bucks, it's just mind-blowing the value I'm getting. I'm, my life is being changed. The information you're getting, I've never heard anywhere else. No other, quote, success guru even knows any of this stuff, quite frankly. Because they, listen, one guy was talking about secret societies. And he was blah, 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 blah. And, and I listened to him and I go, this guy doesn't know, doesn't know what he was talking about. So I had to call him up and I said, you know, when I was at Yale University Skull and Bones Island, when I was at Bohemian Grove, when I was at Bilderberg Group, when I was in the Brotherhood at the meetings, I didn't see you there. So what the hell do you know about that? You're just doing this. You don't know anything because you weren't there. Think about it. Think about it. So for 25 bucks, you get to send in questions for 25 bucks, and I answer them. I'll do a video answer for your question and then put it on the website and send you a, an email. We'll be, we'll be doing this later this year. And then for 25 bucks each and every month, you get a link to a live Zoom call with me where I answer your the most common questions and talk about a lot of other stuff. You also get access to the partner area of the website so you can go back and look at all the questions I've done over the last year. And it's like a reference library. Anything you have, depression. How do I get over depression? You go there, there's somebody probably asked that question and you get the answer. I'll tell you, this is just unbelievable value. But there's more. But wait, there's more. You also get a free ticket to my partner convention. The next one's coming up in July. Every year we do a partner convention, and it's free for partners. 
you can come, and guess who's there the entire day? Me. And I probably bring in some other surprise guests as well. And you, we get a chance to shake hands, meet, talk, chat. I'll do a little teaching, answer a lot of questions. You get to meet other partners from around the world. It's a fun, cool, exciting day. And it's fantastic. But there's something else. And that, that just for 25 bucks a month, just to get that one day is worth it. That, that, I could easily charge $2,000 for that. It's only costing you 25 bucks a month. So it's like nothing. There's a great value. But there's something else. When you become a partner with me, you actually make an energetic link. A lot of Christian ministers do this. They have partners. You become a partner with Kenneth Hagin or Kenneth Copeland or Oral Roberts. The late Oral Roberts used to have a partner for his son Richard does now. Uh, Pat Robinson at CBN. A lot of Christian ministers do this. In J Judaism, they also have a partner type of program where you make a commitment to give a certain amount of money each month also in Islam and in various religions. And when you do this, also in, in India, where you actually are making a commitment uh, to the guru on a, con co a committed monthly basis. When you do this, when you make it become a partner with me, there's an energetic connection between you and me. This is powerful, and people have said this. They signed up as a partner, and virtually the next week, things in their life started radically changing for the better. Why? There are programs out there that you can spend 100 bucks a month on where they zap your home or they zap your phone or something with an energy frequency and it changes the electronic field and it raises the consciousness based on the Hawkins, uh, you know, uh, chart of consciousness or the Hubbard chart and blah, blah, blah. There's all these different type of things. This is very similar to that. But it's not a machine doing it. It's me. And it's not me. It's the fact that I'm tapping into the universal field, which is all the dimensions, and the static, the oneness. And so that pure love and consciousness is flowing through into all my partners. And what happens is it can be calibrated. You can actually see the field around you or in your home or in your work just goes up. The consciousness vibration, the love frequency goes up. You become an, a magnet for success and good things, what you want. Things just start getting better in your life from an energetic perspective when you become a partner because you're effectively following under my umbrella. If you go back to ancient India, they always talked about this. Krishna talked about following unto, under the, my protective energetic umbrella in various phrases throughout history in various spiritual books talk about the same thing. And that's what happens here. So in addition to getting all the other stuff for 25 bucks a month, you're getting this esoteric, we'll call it, uh, benefit that's hard to quantify, but powerful, extremely powerful. So go to ktfanclub.com, become a partner today, because if we get too many partners, I'm going to stop the program and shut it off, and it's only going to be for the existing partners. And then you'll always be in. You'll be grandfathered, and you'll, you know, we're not going to kick you out but I may stop accepting new partners very soon based on the numbers because I want to give to you everything that I'm saying. And I can't do it if there's 10,000 partners. I can't answer everybody's question. I don't have the time. So do it now. Become a partner today. Go to ktfanclub.com and become a partner today. Make sure you also go to some of the other websites, nuggetsofgold.com nuggetsofgold.com, free training there. Gurukev.com, G-U-R-U-K-E-V, gurukev.com, free training there. Go to the Kevin Trudeau Fan Club Telegram channel, free training there, free. KTFanClub.com, become a partner, plus there's free training there. And go and sign up for the other social media we have, it's free training and Kevin Trudeau show on YouTube. Make sure you become a subscriber and tell everybody about it. I need a big number there before I start the radio show and start giving you all the information you need to make all of your dreams come true. I'm Kevin Trudeau. I hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. I just wanted to give you a little bit of information. A lot more is coming soon. This is going to be a great year for you in every way. And remember, God loves you. And so do I. Expect your miracle. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.